Microsoft has released a new view in lists. You can now view your content in a board view. So this is gonna be a huge benefit to anyone who needs to track a lot of data or tasks. Being able to track it visually in a board view really allows you to follow the work as it goes along a workflow or, or status items. Uh, until now, list has really been more of uh, just a list view. So think like Microsoft Excel, and you know cells of data and that has really limited its use cases it provides a lot of customization and other benefits but it hasn't been good when it comes to task management so a lot of us have still been using things like planner or project for task management and opening up the ability to create a board view in list now allows us those of us who have been dying to use it for task management it really gives us that ability so today we're going to walk through how to create the new board view in list and then we'll review some of the benefits, some of the drawbacks, and then why you might choose the new board view over Planner or some scenarios in which you might still choose to use Planner. All right, so to kick things off today, we are gonna show you how to create the new board view. So I have an existing list here in Microsoft Lists. And what I'm gonna do when looking at this information is go up here, and now this is where we would normally create a new view. This is where you're gonna create your calendar view, create your list view in a different uh, order or look and feel, and go to create new view, just like you would do in those other scenarios. And now what we see here, which is new, is this board option. So I'm going to select board, and there are a couple of additional steps here before we're done. You do need to choose which column in your list you're going to organize the board by. Um, for today, I'm going to choose status because uh, we're going to kind of focus on using board view for workflows and task management. So I'm going to organize my board by status. There is some AI in there where it will only allow you to organize the board by columns that make sense. So if there's not an option here for you, you might need to add one of those columns, such as priority or status, to your list. And then go ahead and give it a name. So then hit create and... There we are. So here is my list in the board view, just out of the box. As you saw, it only took a couple quick clicks, and here we are. All right, so now that I have my board view, I'm gonna talk about some of the benefits that this unlocks for you in Microsoft List. So the first just being, obviously, this is a brand new view. And one of the huge benefits of List is that I have the option to click up here and quickly go back and forth between viewing my data as a calendar, as the original list, as a different type of list where I have it grouped differently. So if I'm in a status meeting, I can quickly jump between you know who it's assigned to or priority, uh, the calendar, and now board view. Another benefit with that is that this really unlocks a new use case for Microsoft Lists, which is the ability to track workflows. We can view items as they uh, progress through stages of work. And that's simply a use case we didn't have before, which really caused lists to not be a great tool when it comes to task management. One of the other benefits is that it's so easy to update the data in your cards. So before, one of my issues with lists is that you have to click the item, click edit, edit in that right-hand panel, or edit in grid view, uh, m editing multiple list items at once, you know, forget about it, it's quite complicated. But when I'm in board view, if I drag and drop items and cards across the board, it will automatically update that particular um, part of the card for me. And that's really the quickest and easiest I've ever been able to have data update and lists. So I appreciated that very much. Uh, and you can see stuff's just updating here as I move it. So on the go makes that easier. Another thing that is a huge benefit is I can customize these cards. Um, you know, I've used card view in Planner a lot and those cards are not customizable. But here, if I simply go to the same place that I would go to edit the view, I can actually click customize card. And now I can make sure that the information 
that is displayed on the card is exactly what I want. So this can serve a lot of different purposes depending on how you're using this view. If I'm using it for a specific purpose or a specific type of meeting, whether it be for a project or a status update to a certain audience, I might change what I want to show on my card. And that is great that it is so quick and easy to just click around and it changes right here. You can hit save and your new view is the what you just created. Now we're gonna talk about some of the drawbacks to this new board view that I've noticed so far in LIS. Now this is an early iteration. Board view was just released earlier this year, so there's probably updates coming. Um, but the first thing I wanna say is that I am unable to reorder cards that are in the same column. So I love that I can drag and drop, as we just said. However, if I want to move cards um, order, you know, high, low priority, I'm unable to do that. And really the only way to do that is to get into your SharePoint list settings and change how your actual list data is sorted. But when I'm in a meeting with other people on a team, it's very difficult to not be able to quickly update this data to display the way that I want to. So you are limited there. The other thing is that this view is uh, what I'll refer to as list first. So you do have to first actually create create the list like we just did in the step one. Uh, you can't have a board view without an existing list. You can't just out of the box open up the board view and start creating and moving things around from there. You can only create this once you have an existing list. And finally, on a similar note, there is a lot of customization available to you in this view, which I love. It really is um, you know, deep and thorough and the things that you can change but that does require setup. A lot of that out of the box is, is quite limited. So anything from security to email notifications, things you might expect to get out of the box, especially if you're used to planner, they aren't going to be there without some uh, manually set up from whoever is setting up the list. They are gonna have to touch it to set those things up. So because board view is so exciting for those of us who have been dying to use lists for more of a task management type of tool, that begs the question, can I ditch planner? You know, we, those of us who use Microsoft planner, I, I can't view my planner board as a list, but now I can view my Microsoft lists as a board. So does that allow deeper usability where I won't need planner anymore? Uh, so first I'm gonna talk about some of the areas where you might choose to use lists over planner. And number one, that's if your business use case has a deeper level of complexity. Basically, that's because of the customization that list provides you. I mean, even being able to see your information in multiple views is something that you're unable to do in Planner. So the fact that I can go from a calendar view to a list view to a board view really quickly all in the same meeting is really quite valuable. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, being able to edit visually what I see on the card is, is a huge pro to me. I get very frustrated in planner if there's a data point that does or does not matter. I'm unable to make that display on the card or not display on the card if it's not important for that project. Uh, and that brings me to another point, which is security. Uh, security in lists is, is much deeper. I can control if I share this list, if this person can edit, if they can view only, if they can't, if they have full editing capabilities um, or none at all. Whereas in Planner, they inherit the security settings of the group that the Planner exists. So because those are linked to Microsoft 365 groups, anyone who is in that group has full editing capabilities to the planner board, where list is not that way. I can have people who can just view it and they're unable to start messing with the data. So to summarize, in planner, you only get the board and calendar view, whereas in lists, you get really endless versions of those plus viewing your data as a list. So list, calendar, board, and any which way in between. Another reason you might choose lists is because lists has version history. Now, this can be a huge plus when doing project management and this kind of uh, piggybacks off the security topic we just covered is that when you're in planner and anyone in the group has full editing access, you might notice tasks getting changed or moved and you wanna follow up like who moved that, uh, um, who changed that status, who added that task, and you don't have access to a version history or editing history in Planner, but because uh, LIS is backed in SharePoint, you can get full history into each 
um, each item. So if I look at my list view right here and I click these dots and then go to version history, I'm gonna get a quick detailed version history of every time that task changed and so that I can follow up from there. One other thing you'll want to consider when looking at lists versus planner is how deep you wanna go with Power Automate. So Microsoft Lists has been around for a long time, so there really is a deep integration with Power Automate. It's really easy to access any part of the data in the list that you need and set up workflows for, from there. Whereas Planner, you feel a lot more limited. It's a little bit more difficult to get to the data and you don't have access to all of it, so you're limited on which triggers you can use and things like that. So really the integration with Power Automate is a pro for Lists. Speaking of integrations, uh, there is an integration with Microsoft To Do, which is a reason you might choose Planner. So Planner integrates great with Microsoft To Do, and this really unlocks the ability for you to see all of the tasks assigned to you across multiple projects and multiple applications throughout the Office 365 suite. Whereas Microsoft List doesn't really integrate with any other task management tools. So from a task management perspective, Planner really does give you that leg up for tracking all of your tasks and as well as your team tracking theirs. Planner is still gonna be your quickest route to a Kanban board or any other task management board that you wanna use. So out of the box, you open up Planner, it's already a board. You can very quickly just click the plus, add your tasks. There's no need to create a separate view that you have to do in lists. I don't have to start with data. Um, it's really your quickest execution to a board view. The other thing is that once you have your board created, it's very quick and easy to drag and drop tasks. It's very easy to um, you know, change the order. So if you order by priority, I can very quickly do that in a meeting, no problems. I don't have to go edit in a different view. I also can jump right up here to charts and provide a very quick you know, status update or clean, good looking reports to my project team. All in all, it's just the speed to execution that Planner allows you if you need to do something very quickly or if you're executing on a simple business requirements or a, or a simple project. This is going to be your quickest route and it doesn't require the further customization that I would have to do in lists in order to get some of these features. It does feel a little bit silly that we need to even create this video uh, because it's not like we're uh, comparing two different uh, task management board view tools from different companies. These are both from Microsoft in the same suite of tools. So unfortunately, I wish what they would really do is just take the pros and the benefits from each of these and just make one application. Uh, hopefully one day we have that option and then we would, wouldn't have to you know, consider which one to use when. But for now, it just, just, it just will depend on the use case in your current situation. All right, so that wraps up our look at the new board view in lists. I hope you found this helpful as we reviewed how to create a board, a board view, some of the pros and cons, and then of course looked at it against Planner, which is a very similar tool. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe below. It really helps us a lot. If you'd like to learn more, we have a whole learning center on our website. We'll leave a link down uh, below in the description box to that. We also host monthly office hours, and we'll leave a link to that as well, where you can sign up if if you need any additional or deeper help. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.